Howdy. I'm JC. Welcome to my backyard. We are going to be putting a rain barrel into this downspout area today. Um, let me show you how. Right here under this downspout is where I'm going to be putting my rain barrel. I'm going to need some underlayment, some bricks here to set it up off the ground. Um, and then I'm going to also going to need a level, a drill, a diverter kit, and then I'm going to need a shovel. You might not, but I'm going to need to prepare that that ground. So the first step is going to be to prepare the ground so it's nice and level and firm. So I'm thank you to my friend Sarah Jane. I was able to get a bunch of salvage pavers and I'm going to use them as my base. But the first thing I need to do is I need to remove the plants, remove that fern, get this all nice and level. Okay, I finally got this level. Now, I get to start stacking brick. Okay, this is a 24, it's 24 inches from here to here, and it's 24 from here to here, and that's the size of the rain barrel. So if I stick to this, I should be fine. And notice I did pull it about six, eight inches off my piece of, my big fan here as part of my cooling system. Um, so it's also six inches off the, house where and even though it does not look level it is trust your level not your eyes now i just need to stack Okay, I decided to go about this high. It's a little higher than you probably need, but that way if I ever decide to add more, I've got plenty of height to work with. And as you can see, we're level. We're super close to it. Even though it doesn't look level. To my eye it looks off, but trust my level. Okay, now we get to put the rain barrel on it and uh, cut a hole in the gutter. The spigot, it was already in this barrel that I got secondhand. If you buy a rain barrel, it very likely, it could come with its own spigot already attached, and if not, it's a very simple procedure to just drill a hole and then just follow the instructions that come with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in the back and in the gutter so that the water can flow into the barrel. This diverter kit has everything you need, including the bit. So there's a large bit to go to cut a hole in the downspout and then there's a small bit this is a 38 millimeter one and a half inch that's going to go into the side of the barrel for the inlet um, so the way you, you're going to need to unscrew this nut stick the bit into this hole and then reattach the nut and then you know undo it in order to attach the other the other part of the bit for the different size holes so when the bits put together correctly you can see it is like this. There. Okay, okay, this is a used uh, barrel, so it already has a hole in the side right here, but it's the wrong size for the kit that I have, so I'm just going to block it off. I have to drill another hole, so you go three inches down from the top, and then you don't want the hole to be on the curve. You want to hit the first flat spot with no ridges or anything, so about here is where I made my mark to drill the hole. I'm just gonna lubricate this just a bit. And then you put it in like this, and then let it expand, and it should cinch right in there. Now that I've got the hole put in the side, this is the diverter hose. This end's going to go into the downspout. So now I'm going to put it up on the blocks and mark where I cut my hole into the gutter. Okay, for my kind of open-topped barrel, the, my hose is supposed to be essentially level just the tiniest bit above uh, level into this three inch side of my downspout. The way I found that rather than measuring and everything is just practically I just set my level on there and you can see the little bubble is showing level and I made a mark where that was. That's level. And then 
to find the center of that hole, which is where I'm supposed to drill, I actually just took the plug that I drilled out of here and used it as my template. I just put the edge on there and then took my Sharpie and measure and put a dot in the center of it. Now I know that's the center. That's where I'm supposed to wear safety goggles. Like that. Now, unfortunately, this plug just fell down into my gutter, so I'm gonna have to pull it out of the bottom there, but I got it as close as I could to center. Um, these edges are incredibly sharp, so don't touch them. This goes into this hole and seals off the gutter, which is a really cool diverter system. Water comes down in, into this channel and feeds out this hole into your rain barrel. Once your rain barrel is full, then the, this will be full of water and it won't, there will be no way for more water to come in here, so then it will overflow and go down. That's why this needs to be loved. Uh, this, we pinch the sides, stick this in, and I'm gonna use some dishwashing detergent to make this. Great, so now all I have to do is put in the two self-tapping screws to hold it in place. Alrighty. Just turn and you push it in all the way up to the edge of the corrugation. All right. I know it doesn't look like it, but that's le essentially level. Here we go. As you can see, we did end up level. And we got it tapped into the downspout. So now I just need to put a cover on this so we don't end up with mosquitoes. I ended up putting uh, this screen webbing on top just because I don't want the mosquitoes to get in there, but um, I'm gonna have to find a proper lid for it, but for now it's gonna work just fine. Thanks for joining me. Hey, baby. Hi, you gonna come help me put in a rain barrel? No? You checking out the tools and stuff? Pretty exciting, isn't it?